Hi, Mark Savage here. It's a big cup of tea time. Nah. What are we talking about today? <clears throat> Lowering kits. It's for people like me who have a short in stature, who still want to ride a big bike. This is a Triumph Trophy SE. It's a huge tourer. This is the first video I'm doing now. I'll be doing a video of this all around it, what it looks like, and a ride video. But first I thought I'd lower it. How simple are these to do? And do they work? They are here. Obviously bolt through here, and a bolt through there. And there they are. Pretty simple if I'm honest with you. But what I'm gonna do today, you notice it's not on the center stand. It's on the side stand. Why have I done that? I want to measure the seat height now and then putting them on and then measuring the seat height. It says 20 mil. Let's see how high the seat is now. I have got a block of wood on this side. The bike's near enough straight. Not the most scientific way, but it will work. We'll call that 38 here and uh, show the process. If you haven't got a centre stand, you're gonna have to jack the back off because the wheel will drop. You know, the bolts, the back wheel will drop. So make sure you've got something underneath that. 17 mil and the 16 mil the other side, you really couldn't get simpler tools. <laughs> Undo. Remember, chock the back wheel. When you take these two off, it's gonna drop. Now I have already thought Gonna be some issues. If I'm dropping the back wheel down 20, I think the centre stand's gonna be harder to get on. But let's see what the results are. I'll quickly change it, put the new ones on, see where we are. As in all things, you always run into a few problems, but look at the difference. So that's a definitely push that down, brings the back wheel up, not that way around. What's the problem? That makes this really easy to come off. You look at this one. the exhaust stuff. <laughs> they don't make things easy sometimes. Okay, WD this, don't just try. I mean, this is a pretty new bike, only 9,000 miles on the clock. If you're looking at one with a lot more mileage, a bit more rusty, you could snap that, not good. So I'm just gonna undo this, undo that, and just twist, not take it off. Change it over, put it all back on again. There is something I'm worried about though. This suspension on these Triumphs is a TES system. So it measures the weight and height and so on, and then adjusts. I'm wondering when I change this, will it just not adjust itself and pump itself up? I'm sure there's a way of disabling it or changing it anyway. Right, exhaust, take it off, put it back on, and you'll see me in a minute measuring. It's massive. Now, back wheel. Oh, and the other picture was right down. I had to lift this wheel up about an inch. This new one on, so. It was simple, undo that. And this exhaust, really easy to move. Literally, just drop down, drop up, drop down, back on again. I am guessing, because it's fairly new, that it was really easy. But that was easy. i am tighten it back up. Well, it's on. Is go on the other side and put it on and put two bolts on, tighten it up. But that is massive. I think I'm right about this stand, you know, it's gonna be a bit of a bitch to get on. And now I'm beginning to get a little bit worried about this TCS system because I don't know if it's defined by weight or how it works out on the bike, whether it's position sensor or not. I don't know. Anyway, this should mean I should be completely flat footed on this bike. I was um, not tippy toes, but the ball on my feet. I want to be flat footed. This is a heavy old girl. It really was one of the simplest jobs I've done in a very long time. And just looking at this is an inch off the ground. Remember, did all the bolts up. And that one. Right, let's get off the stand and see what she does. 83, that's two centimeters from the driver's seat. 37 inches, that 93 and a half. Two things worry me now, getting on the center stand, I can still do that. When I start her, whether the system will change, let's see what my feet are like on the floor. Well, there's your answer. Yes, I can. 
and it's pretty much how I got on the stand in the first place, so I'm still happy to get on the centre stand. I do like to put it on the centre stand when places. Right, let's see if I start her, whether it adjusts all the suspension, or we're on flat footed still. But that's impressive so far. Thumbs up. Come up, TS, calibrating, stayed the same. I am just shy of flat food on now. So for 65 pounds, alarm. They're driving mad as you know. So I'm flat footed nigh on, and that's without the panniers and everything else in the spike. Anyway, you would have just seen this other video, I'm gonna put this on first. Radio, heated seats, Triumph Trophy is a massive tour of 300 mile radius. Well, you're gonna watch it in the other video anyway. Um, thumbs up. What's next? When I visited Steve, or Derv man, he showed me a hardwired DVR like crash cam. So I'm gonna fit it on this, two cameras, DVR. We should go in this little lockbox. It's a perfect bike to do this on. Now he paid 250 pound for his one. I've decided to get a cheap model from England and about 80 quid with GPS as well and a little button you can press if you panic which normally just hanging on to dear life of the bars anyway like share subscribe only three videos of this one there'll be now the one you've just watched which will be me cruising around and I'm gonna have the old uh, camera here me putting the low end bars on which just watched and then a generic one really for this crash camera which I think it's well worth having if you're riding on the road every day like share subscribe